Hi, I'm Jamie Willis Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating my World Clocks app which lets users select one or more time zones then displays an analog clock for each one. The objectives for this app are to use CDS to get a list of time zones, to use Flow to get the time zone offset for each selected time zone, and finally to use the Power Apps Gallery to display a clock for each selected time zone. So who am I? I've been a Power Apps champion since January 2019. I recently spoke at the DC stop at the Power Platform World Tour, and I have over seven years experience with SharePoint. Before I continue, I should mention that this is the third video series in what I'm dubbing my It's About Time trilogy. If you haven't already, please check out my animated clock demo and my time zone converter demo. I took elements from both apps when building this one. There'll be links in the description to both. But why, Jamie, you ask? Yes, there are possibly better ways to accomplish this. I did this purely as a proof of concept, and the app is provided as is. I'll be posting the app so you can download a copy. But first, let's take a look at the finished app. To use the app, first select at least one time zone from the dropdown, which is not technically a dropdown or a combo box. It's a gallery, actually. More than that in another video. I'm going to search for my time zone, which is Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to select it. You'll notice the plus turns to an X. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Add Clock. After I click that, you'll notice a slight delay while the flow executes. And then voila, there's my clock. Always at the top left there is the current date and time in UTC. We can add some more clocks. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to select Arabic Standard Time. And then I'll scroll down some more and I'll select uh, New Zealand Standard Time. And I'll scroll down some more. Let's see if I find anything interesting. Um, oh, here we go. Argentina Standard Time. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to click Add Clocks. And again, the flow is going to execute. It may take a second. And voila! Four clocks. The one I already picked and three new, one, three new clocks. Now I can remove a clock by clicking the red X. You can also remove a clock by coming up into here and finding the clock you want to remove. And clicking the X. Like that. And it updates and now I have just the three clocks. So two ways to remove clocks. You also note in the upper right a debug mode checkbox. Uh, I'm a big fan of debug controls when I'm creating an app. Uh, but even though it's not as necessary anymore, thanks to some recent updates to Power Apps, but I still think it's useful. You'll notice also the timer control uh, is visible when you put it in debug mode, so you can see the timer counting down. Thank you for watching this demo. Please stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more videos, including uh, deep dives in, into how this app was built. Uh, check the video description for links to where you can download the app. Uh, if you found this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter and on LinkedIn. Uh, and also check out my blog, willisrose.com. Thank you.